the bounty of the oceans has supported mankind for generations upon generations. But early sailors and fishermen only knew what they could see near the surface or pull up from beneath it. Today, we have a better understanding of just how plentiful and diverse sea life is. There are an estimated 10 billion tons of fish in the ocean, from some 212,000 known marine species. Billions of microscopic creatures make up the base of this vast food chain. With ocean sustainability a major concern, scientists and policymakers are less focused on discovering the ocean and more focused on observing and sustaining it. Nexus, observations supporting ocean sustainability. The ocean's business activities are estimated at 2.1 trillion euros per year, which would make it the fourth largest global economy. But there are impacts, from humans as well as from the changing environment. Monitoring the ocean is very costly in general. The number of variables is enormous. This has led to European directives like the Marine Strategic Framework Directive, which calls for the monitoring of the environmental status of the, of the oceans. So good environmental status is a way to express that our seas remain healthy and that our uses are sustainable. Now, the next phase is to try to put all the measurements to get a, a proper observing system that's continuous, sustainable, going for Europe. So in ocean observing, we are looking at three different opportunity areas. Uh, one is platforms, that is the way we access the ocean. But the exciting space that I see coming up in the next decade is the sensors, because the sensors are going to enable these platforms to use in ways we cannot imagine today. We successfully developed a couple of sensors targeting essential variables for the marine realm. These essential variables can be things like oil in the water, or phytoplankton, which is algae, and also things like chemical parameters addressing the carbon cycle. Nexus worked closely with its small enterprise partners to move toward production. With Nexus's introduction of this suite of lightweight, low power and fully interoperable sensors, the time is now to transition from research to operations.